What's going on, everybody? Tiger Wise here, chilling and playing Stray, a wonderful game about a cat. I've always been a dog person more myself, but you know I still like my cats. So let's get back into it. Oh, we got a we got a robot. We're not alone anymore. Man, those pesky little things. Oh, we're in the slums now. Sounds dangerous. This robot is just like ran. Where's this robot going? Hey man, I just wanted to be your friend. Oh, I can't get over that way. through that way either oh there's a lot of them now a lot of little robot men it's like a robot village Guy looks like a robot kung fu master. Oh, uh, don't know what that says. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kinds. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Or as we, as long as we don't eat anybody, we're good. I don't think there's anybody to eat. This is a guardian. You look lost. What do you need? Oh, a picture of the outside? Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives up. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Momo. We gotta get some Momo. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the or orange neon sign. It's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. Oh yeah, so... 
Looks like we gotta find our way up to the orange sign. With my amazing cat skills, let's just, you know, start with the basics. Jumping from here to possibly up here somewhere. See, amazing cat skills. Um, let's see, where's that orange sign? I'm sure we'll get there some way or another. Do I want to go that way? Do I need to go that way? to another roof I'll find out how we can get up there Momo Mr. Momo need a little bit of help here Mr. Momo we came here to talk to Mr. Momo Gonna take a nap in the middle of this. Stretching out, taking her time. He or she. What's this robot guy doing? Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. The outside? Momo told me he'd. Get me there one day. The outside? Momo told me he'd get me there one day. Alright, that didn't help. So I just need to get some Momo. Oh. Oh, here we go. What's up, Mr. Momo? never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? This is the picture of an outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had uh, this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Almost seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. Stay away from Zerks? That's probably those little blood-sucking things. It's signed Clementine, Zabaltar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. 
I think we should find the other notebooks. We need to find other notebooks. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? That's my notebook. I was the last to join the outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. Well, it's just going in a loop. So. Well, the question is are the rest of the notebooks here? The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a blue sky is hidden behind them. Oh. Very cat thingy thing to do. Now we can't even see. Alright, oh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we'll just dig through the wall. Eventually, don't think that's gonna work. Let's see, here's some books. Probably not the right books. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I had created I think I can't remember it well. The scientists and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Oh, we're building the robot's memories back. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can get in there. What's this? Oh, just a play toy thing. Am I supposed to leave this area? Third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it's the only celestial object known to foster life. According to a radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.5 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tides, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its own rotation speed. Got trapped into... Uh... A long text thing. All right, I think we're just gonna leave. I'm scratching a hole through the door. This 
symbol on the wall matches the one in the notebook. Symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. What symbol on the wall? Okay. It seems like a lead. That seems like a lead. Sure does. So we know exactly where we need to go. The question is, can we get there? I'm pretty sure that we can get there. So there's probably a notebook around here somewhere that we must find. out on my back like that. Oh, there we go. And outside your notebook, it's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown and apparently is controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Yes, let's find the other notebooks. Well, I guess we got what we needed from here. So we can leave. You know, like, there's no reason to be here anymore. There's another... There's another sign right there. Here, I'm trying to figure out how to get up to that. I think that must be the right spot to be going. Well, what is the best way to get up there? And is that where I started? Please don't bother Fakora. She's so clumsy. Oh. 
Yeah, so we got back up here. Is there is like where are we supposed to go? This is someone's place. So we get into the someone's place. Why would I want to do that? Ventilation power supply. Ventilator supply. Oh, I see. Like a notebook in here or something? Gotta check the place thoroughly. Do I want to go up or do I want to go down? Another notebook. Nice. This one seems to belong to someone named Zal Balton. Yeah, this one seems to belong to someone named Zal Batzar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. The Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breeds at an inc inconceivable rate. As if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Let us find the other books. So 
So where would we go now? That's the question. We need to find um, something with that symbol on it. So we got that one, we got this one. Is there another? The robots. Oh, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Uh, let's see what's down here. I don't know how far down we can go. Remarkable, companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Robots getting this memory back. Little by little. I think the outsider seems to live in the upper flats. We won't find anything in these narrow streets. You know, when they ask you, they tell you to check the, the thing like that, it means you're going the wrong way. On the wrong way, buddy. Apparently everything I need is in the upper flats. So somewhere up here. There's another sign over here. Alright. I'll turn the TV on. Go. 
Five bucks. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real hu human. Volume 42. Do that. We're not trying to fall asleep right now. We're trying to find a notebook. So there should be one in here. There should be a notebook in here. There's a, a, a little circle thing right there, so. Probably can interact with that. Just gonna find out how to get to it. I don't have an item to put into the safe. There's got to be some stuff around here. I don't think this will do anything. the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Jess, the librarian. Alright, well I guess we got keys now. It's as easy as that. notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectral meter with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to ward off the Zergs on our way out. The initial temp was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. Okay, with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Let's show him what we found. Alright. Gotta go back to Momo. Big bad Momo. How do we get back to Momo? Let's see, find a window. Oh yeah, here we go. Right, I think Momo was in the... Um... 
found the four outsider notebooks and a note how to fix the transceiver. Let's bring that back to Momo up in the building with the orange neon. Orange neon. Alright. Yep. Right place. Let's see. Gonna do some uh, cat ninja moves. It's a like cat ninja. What is up, Momo? Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? That's my notebook. It was. I was the last to join the outsiders. I'm also the last remaining one. Oh, you found Clementine's nose? She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I have ever met. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! This means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Salvatore, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. E.T. Voila! It works! Come with me. Come with him. Up there, see that building? High above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they will know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Bring us to the sky? So I, I just need to go to... Alright, let's go put the transceiver all the way up on top of that big building. A big one. Just a the big one. It's just like a long way away. Long little ways away. 